Hello guys, this is Sam. Welcome to my channel and I'm playing Starfield. Speak to Delgado. Let's speak to Delgado. That last job didn't pan out. I need something bigger. Where's the doctor? I think I lost my way. Fleet protects our turn against us. How you buy from me, you can look good and protect your ass at the same time. You sure I got something to suit your needs? What if I want to sell? Like, uh, this one, this one, this place I'll match. I don't know what these things are. Look at the mass of this thing. Cutter. Well, only the best tactical gear to protect your ass this side of the galaxy. Metal plated for when you're up against bullets. Leather for those jobs that might require a subtle touch. All made by yours truly, of course, except for a few used odds and ends that no one's gonna miss. Only the best protective gear. Oh, this guy has only one weapon. And lots of space suits. I already have one of these things. Oh, this guy, I can buy DigiPix from this guy. I'm buying all of them. I think I sold this thing to him just seconds ago the costliest thing this guy has this pirate sniper space shoot this is 7000 credits other than that um, oh this one is refined pirate assault space shoot Ah, 
mass is very but still i will take this one he has seven helmets i like this one Balanced boost pack, power boost pack, skip capacity boost pack. <coughs> we are going for twenty, ten. I don't know why I sold this one. I will buy this one again. the mission coming along until next time I don't know where I found that doctor still costing me some I cannot move freely So you guys saw the message? This ship is registered. This one's not. So just registered it with pressing G. Six thousand credits to register. Registered. If I press on upgrade ship, these things come up. So I'll just change it and press the bridge on this one. I will update later on. Just need to find the doctor man. This guy is stuck here. Come on, move! You said you found something. Hand it over. The 
That's it? Just one slate? After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crooks' fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of what it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big, big charity event on one of Friday and Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. I love me. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galvan VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. Oh, I'll send a message to roll call right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy, but Rokov screws everything up as usual. Ooh, we got a legendary pistol, huh? Yeah, so that is exactly what you're going to do. If you haven't noticed by now, that is how things work around here. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov and get me those credentials. Don't be stupid. You gotta look at the big picture. We do this right, and we are all getting paid for this job. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, a siren of the stars. And remember, Rockoff does not need to know anything about Briggs' legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. This one, cut this pistol now. Holy shit, this pistol looks good. Six bullets in the chamber. Still need to find that doctor, man. Need something? I'm going back to. Is 
lift off when you are, Captain. Let's go. be able to grab some bread. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? Then I suggest you seek out one of the many other facilities available to walk-ins. I'm afraid we don't often deal with minor cases. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. 
So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. If you absolutely require medical supplies, speak to Dr. Salvato. We have very limited resources I would consider extra, and he would be the one to distribute them. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens, things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. If we do it right, no, not usually. An abundance of safety protocols are in place and we have decades of experience. Ironically, this may be one of the safest environments in the settled systems. Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the settled systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses, in theory at least. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. Analgesics can offer some novel pathways in helping us manage our patient's pain. More examples from the worlds around us would be helpful. And let analgesic for Dr. Dervish. What we're looking for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settled systems. Just keep your eyes open as you travel and harvest things when you find them. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them. I'm less concerned with the source than the materials themselves. Okay. It's a grab drive. I literally can't get here any faster. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. What does the guy think? I'm a uh, free coffee mechanic or free coffee? We get the cases in the or something like that. You'd be surprised how many times I have to argue that we prioritize tech updates. Well, maybe you would. Oh, you're not familiar? I'll give you the quick version. UC built the station back in 2194. It was outside of their established territory, which caused a bit of a disagreement and a bit of a war. And after what I think most people would agree was much too long a period of time, the war ends. One of the terms was the station was handed over to the Freestar Collective. Not that many really good reasons for war, are there? I think it was more about the UC expanding into systems they didn't own. The principle of the thing, not the station itself. So since then, the clinic's been under Freestar Collective Control. Over a hundred years now, I think. Over time, it started to focus more on weird things. People picked up on all sorts of planets and space expedition. It became known for it. And now focuses on it almost exclusively. Going through the chair. And here we are today, carrying on that work. Actually makes me feel kind of proud when I lay it all out like that. All right, see you around. I'm just a nurse. If you need to talk to someone in charge, wrong guy. Is there something I can help you with? You look a bit lost. Damn, you're fleet, aren't you? I should have known she'd send someone. Look, the price of goods here has gone up. Doubled, tripled even. Does she not even consider a cheaper supplier? She really should. I know we had a deal, but the fleet don't like paying a premium. I was hoping she'd take the hint and find another supplier. It's just, I hear about people getting treated or 
dying all the time due to run-ins with the fleet. How does it all shake out in the end? I don't know. Either way, it seems like I end up with lives on my conscience. Yeah? Advice from the fleet? I doubt it. This job is my life. I'd hate to risk it. I think you've convinced me. <laughs> Still, they don't like a I John, man. believe I made a deal with the Crimson Fleet. I've stashed the supplies in the storage closet just around the hall. Here's the key. Just try not to let anyone see you. I want to keep this as under the radar as possible. So, how do we go there? Every new alien pathogen we discover is just a little more job security. We can't let you in without proper authorization. Maybe we can talk Move along, this, this wing is off limits. This wing is contracted out to a private business. It's not open to the general public, not even standard clinic staff. Hey, I don't make the assignments. I got a boss, and this is where I was told to waste my time. In the secure wing? No. But from what I understand, someone's paying to keep it that way. No one knows what's going on back there. Okay, I can go that way. So I have to improvise that. People. I can't imagine suffering from something no one understands. It must be terribly frightening for them. There is no way here. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? It used to be an actuary. Now look. Oh, it was that guy was really searching for something. Maybe he. If I was a bit late, you would have seen me. Oh, that was too close. Let's go back to where I came from. That looks like a doctor here. Oh no, it's not a doctor. Doctor, I look like I work here, right? A couple of patients didn't seem to think so. Awkward situation. Just need a moment to examine you. Oh, you're in pretty bad shape. Okay, I can have this stitched up in short order. All right, this probably won't be the most painful thing, but hold still. Right as rain, as my grandfather would put it. Attending physician. I'm new here, so really what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and try to imitate it. Sounds odd, this guy is seems a Aussie type. Talks uh, in an Australian accent. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. Oh. Hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the Settle Systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this site where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Dr. Alexine Liu Atlantis. See you later. We'll do that. But first we need to... Get out of here. I'm not stealing this things. Hi, 
actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. He lost an eye in the process, but he didn't walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? Don't be like being of service, Captain. Just go back. back the, ship the ship we are flying out of here. Supplies from Gennady. I'm on the last of my med packs here. Well, they 
next time I won't even question it. I might have to make this a regular thing. At least it's one way to get guaranteed supplies. I only need to determine Gennady's limits. I'd hate to break him. <laughs> and he'd love every minute of it, right? Well, I'll arrange your payments so you can get out of here. I appreciate the help. Sam go because I have left that mission for so long. Too many missions, not enough time. Yes, you are right. This is also a big game, man. This is a big game. 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 कभी सौ पड़ जाएगा okay, मतलब स्टार्ट हो इतना कैरेक्टर तो है ही है उसके साथ इतने जगह अलग अलग जगह मिशन करने जा रहा है करने जा रहा होता है तो देख ही रहे हो फ्लीट का मिशन करते करते मेरे को दो वीडियो लग गया एक मिशन के लिए लेकिन वो भी इतना बड़ा चेज था कि ट्रिक्स का कुछ डिस्कॉल किया हम कोई पार्टी में जा रहे हैं वहाँ से कुछ चोरी करना है उस क्रेडेंशियल्स चोरी क्रेडेंशियल्स चोरी करने के बाद Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? If we're here, perhaps we should check in with Matteo or Noel. You want to go yet? You good to go yet? Let's do it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Aquila City. Hello, Aquila City. ये मिशन तो मतलब बहुत पहले मैं इससे बात कर चुका था, लेकिन इसका मिशन करना नहीं जा पा रहा था। चांस मिला तो तो ही थे। मैं दौड़ूंगा तो फिर से ये रिपीट होगा Thank you. 
तगड़ा हो गया होगा तो भी चलेगा लेकिन खाए तो ना दोनों लगभग सारे होने चाहिए होने चाहिए मतलब होने चाहिए तो उसके लिए वही प्रोड्यूस चाहिए होता है यहाँ पे सिर्फ सिटी के दरे गई अच्छा शेन में जो मुझे लगता है डायरेक्ट ग्रैब चल
स्कैन करोगे तो वो मतलब दिखाता है थर्टी फोर परसेंट है ना तो मैं जितना घूम घूम के स्कैन करूँगा उतना बड़े हो Once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co, as in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact. It's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but. If you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Gal Bank, I did not hear that thing. For the first time, I think I heard that. Before too. Is he coming? Yes, he's coming. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Gal Bank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Planning to tell me your demands at some point. You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? I think I come in this place. You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please stand back. Kila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned, Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam. Just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different perception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate.
Well, that's real damn helpful. Thank you. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with it. It might come to that, but first I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can Turn see you. Turn around here is a joke. Something. You're the negotiator, huh? at this guy two times I failed again and again I heard every word he's talking too loud a sign of fatigue all that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll they're not thinking straight that puts us in a very precarious position Now you'd be wasting your time. Or worse, it would make them angry. No sense risking that. 
I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. The problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. <clears throat> now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Please stay calm, but let our security forces do their work. Are sneak into the bank. I've never seen anyone in any place. I've never seen anyone in any place. What did the marshal say? <laughs> I guess that'd be all right. Gonna need to dish that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Fine, I'll make it quick.
I know that gun is good, but where is my coachman? Yeah, I was searching for this one. You got us out of a tough spot. You did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now the lines are out. Let's get back in the outback. See if we can get those maps. Okay, so we'll go with the Sam go for the maps in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Those who are unsubscribing my channel, I don't have anything against them that they will miss out on very good things, very interesting videos. So until then, stay tuned and uh, have a good day, guys. I'll be back earlier to next. Bye, guys. See you soon.